We'll start getting this all mixed up in here, like so, okay? So, when I'm done mixing all this up, we'll be right back. Man, oh man. I want y'all to see this, okay? I want y'all to see this. Tell me this don't look good. Tell me that don't look good. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God, look at that. Is it beautiful? Is it not beautiful or what, ladies and gentlemen? Is it not beautiful or what? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. My God. That looks damn good, don't it? Don't that look good, y'all? Look at that. Hmm? Now, let me tell y'all the purpose, purpose of the sweet and sour. Now, you don't have to put sweet and sour sauce in this, but let me just give you an idea of why I'm going to do a little bit of it in here. Y'all know how y'all go to the restaurant, y'all order Chinese, y'all get y'all sweet and sour chicken or sweet and sour pork, whatever it is you get. And you know how you have your chow mein on the side or you have your fried rice, whatever you got. You ever notice how that sweet and sour sauce on that pork or chicken always go good when it's mixed with your chow mein or your rice? You start eating it together? That's my point. That's my point. So, y'all give me one minute. Let's add a little bit in here. Not too much. Just enough to get that little sweet and sour twang in your stir fry. Hold on one second. Let's do that. Let's, let's just do that, okay? So, I got me some sweet and sour right here, right? Okay, I was saying, y'all, we had a commercial coming out. I didn't want nobody in a fan with this. All right, so here's my sweet and sour sauce. You can get any sweet and sour sauce you want, okay? So look what I'm about to do. Look what I'm about to do. So look, it don't have to be a lot. Look, it don't have to be a lot. Y'all see this? It don't have to be a lot. Just enough to give it that twang. That's it. Just enough to give it that twang. So all you want is that twang, all right? Now, let me start mixing this up. Ooh, my God, it smells, so, y'all, y'all don't even know how good this smells. I can't even, I can't even, keep, I can't even, even try to explain it. <laughs> I can show you better than I can tell you. All right, so we mixing that in there. I can smell that sweet and sour even though, I would say I put about, I would say that was about maybe a, a tablespoon and a half of drops up in here, okay? You don't want to get crazy. Just enough to give it that little sweet and sour twang. That's all. That's just the new part of this. That's the rookie chef way. I ain't never done it before. I'm just thinking about how I how I how I eat chow mein and had that sweet and sour sauce from the meat when I order it out. And I just know how good it tastes together then. So I think it's gonna taste good together now. All right. All right, y'all. We are done. When I come back, we're gonna do the plating, the taste test. And we're going to keep it moving and rocking. All right, y'all. The moment has come. The moment has come. My Cajun shrimp and sausage ramen stir fry, y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I did myself again. Introducing that dish. The rookie chef dish. Cajun shrimp and sausage ramen stir fry, y'all. Here we go. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready? Take a look. Take a look. Take a good look. Take a good look. Look at all them fresh seasonings and vegetables and you got your, you got your, your Chinese, your Chinese snow peas, jalapenos, bell peppers, green onions, tomatoes, shrimp, hot links, and of course your stir fry noodles, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. There you have it. Very nice, healthy dish. There you go. Of course, you know what time it is now. Taste test. It can drop. I don't care. Let it drop. I just, I just turn it on over. Let it drop. Look at that. <clears throat> We're going to go with that first, okay? <clears throat> 
It just tastes so refreshing. Oh my God. That shrimp has a pop to it. And you can taste that Cajun. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me get some more. Let me get some more. Mm. Mm. And that snow pea, that snow pea make it taste definitely healthy in France. Okay. I'll get a little bit of this with the jalapeno hot link. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Look here. This is good. First time doing it this way. The rookie took way. If I can do it, you can do it. Follow my lead. Mm -hmm. Now I know the professionals, they get down their own way because they're professional, but we the rookie chefs. We gotta start from the bottom and work our way to the top. And I'm gonna tell you, this is working our way to the top right now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat this. Okay, life's going down low. We're gonna say our goodbyes because I got to eat this. Alright? Coming up next is the is the ending of our story. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end. Our lights are dim. It's time to say good night and goodbye. We did a good job on this dish, y'all. There's probably gonna be a part one and part two to this. Either way it go, please, please, please hit that like if you like what we did today. And make sure you are subscribed by hitting that subscribe button to make sure you got all notifications turned to all. So we don't miss no rookie chefs dishes, okay? Thank y'all for joining me. Let me let y'all see this one more time. We did that. We did that, y'all. We did that. We did that. Cajun shrimp and sausage ramen stir fry. Cajun shrimp and sausage ramen stir fry. That's it for me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Young Reno, your rookie chef. Until next time, everybody stay safe. God bless everyone. Take care until next time, everyone. God bless, God bless. Sayonara.